Hello my lovelies, you will always see me in this state in a car most of the time because that's when I'm in a car, when I go to the gym. I'm in a gym or at home. I'm such a hermit. Oh, it was so funny. I was so glad reading the comments under my last um, Monday video that I'm not the only one shopping drunk because I thought, oh my God, what if you all say, God, you are such a trash. Um, yeah, and some of your stories were so funny. Okay, I wanted to update you on those Kate Spade glasses that I got from the US. So, um, I emailed them that day when I picked them up and you know I said I wasn't very happy that the lens was out and I had to pay um, custom charges so they replied to me uh, didn't even mention at first the lens just talking about the custom charges that I should have read um, they stop policies and yes I should that's true but it was very misleading because there is one website so remember they are called coolframes.com or the one I bought from was coolframes.co.uk which automatically makes you think that this is in a UK and all the prices were in pounds so obviously that then doesn't make you to go and check on stop policies because so I think I feel like this is a bit misleading on their side but okay I didn't read the policies and then I said could I send them the picture of the glasses so I did and do you know what response I got why don't you just take them to your local opticians and they can easily pop it back in and that was it can you believe that so I'm not going to send them back because it's going to cost me more money to send it back. Uh, what I also did after this, I went on um, on to look at this website's reviews, Cool Frames, and I should have done that before. But again, like I said, I was misled thinking that it was in the UK. Um, they don't have very good reviews. They customer service and re refunds and all that. So don't buy from Cool Frames. Um, yeah, so that was their response. So I'm not going to send them back. I like them and I easily pop that lens back in. And um, my little wee bad, and you will know who I'm talking about. You said you work in Spec Savers and you said I can take it there and um, they can tighten it. So I might just do that, you know. Otherwise, I will spend money sending it back then worrying if they got it you know and waiting hours or disputing disputing uh, refunds not that they even offered me one you know not very good customer service will definitely never buy from them so that's what i wanted to tell you it's sunny today and 20 degrees so i feel a bit happier i've had headache all day really i didn't have a very good night's sleep i kept waking up for some reason I don't know. I've got very busy mind, you know. If you knew what is going on up here constantly. This brain never shuts down. Okay, nothing to report, nothing funny happened today. It's only Monday, you never know. I'll see you later. Good morning. <laughs> My enormous fun. That was a very good idea. A lot of you told me that I should hang it behind me somewhere or maybe here. I don't know. Have it stuck on the top of my head. I don't know. I will think about it. I could maybe get um, like a canvas frame and stick it to it. I don't know. But if you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go and watch my previous Monday vlog if you want to know the story about the fan. Okay, anyway, I'm in the middle of filming um, another powder foundation review um, and you would have seen it on Friday. So remember, because I'm vlogging throughout the week, the timeline is all over, so you would have seen this review. Uh, but I've just 
film applying it and now I need to put some makeup on so I thought while I'm doing that I come and chat to you I'm going to use the uh, Benefit Cheek Leaders palette you know this one and the Becca Chloe and Charlotte Tilbury Lovegasm that's all I'm using like for every every day so I I could have filmed like proper makeup tutorial but I don't feel inspired today to do that so I will apply this blush and this highlighter like all over my lid that's what I like doing with this it's got exactly the same peachy pinky look like the other two palettes um, so oh, it was so funny I've been I carry on reading more and more of your comments on my last Monday vlog about drunk shopping and I've laughed so much I'm so glad I'm not the only one the golf glove killed me one of you told me a story that after a couple of drinks you've ordered a golf club um, golf glove from China I think that's supposed to make your game so much better and when he arrived he had six fingers <laughs> Oh, I laughed so hard. Um, so, <laughs> but on another hand, what I was going to talk to you about, I'm going to put hula now in my crease. Um, that being judged constantly is quite hard. And okay, so what you see of me on my channel it's a minute portion of my personality I am more relaxed on my vlogs because I feel the people that watch my vlogs are like my faithful subscribers they accept me for who I am like me whatever um, not going to judge me so I am a bit more relaxed on my vlogs but if I do reviews or something you know anybody could come across my channel and maybe I shouldn't really but do you know what, what I mean none of us like being judged not that it affects my life but no one likes being told awful things about them or especially when people don't really know you that well so there was a comment under that video which actually made me laugh but maybe some of you have seen it someone said that they have to unfortunately unsubscribe from me because they are very disappointed knowing now that i drink and even to the point of getting drunk um and this person was very very disappointed in me and had to unsubscribe um i found it quite funny but it just shows you know you can be judged for the slightest thing and i've got news for you yes i do have a drink i enjoy myself and i've had sex before marriage so anybody else is shocked and need to unsubscribe <laughs> um yeah so I think that's why I admire some YouTubers that are an, an apologetic, I can't say the word, an apologetically, an apo, without apologizing, being really, really themselves. It's not that I am lying about who I am, I'm just much more reserved, if you know what I mean. Because I know as much as... I say and everybody else say don't care what people think about you what they say about you but you know if you had a channel and every day someone always had something negative say it's never nice you know like I said not that it really affects my life but imagine if someone every day few people told you something not nice about you it's just you know human nature but I know that so many of you that watch me I can tell have exactly the same sense of humor um, are very much like me I can tell from your comments 
um, do you know how much fun it would be if we could all get together and have a drink that would be a lot of fun okay I forgot my mascara I have to go and get my mascara okay I'm going to use the NARS if you've noticed I've got the small one um, I think I prefer the small sizes I wish they all did that because especially if you have a couple of favorite mascaras you will take forever to use them and you shouldn't really keep mascara for longer than three months and somehow I feel that the small mascaras are better quality I don't know but I think I'm gonna carry on buying the small one I love this mascara and you know it and let me just tell you because let me zoom you in a bit I probably never show you the whole um, mascara applying thing because I take ages so when you do just one coat it doesn't seem anything special but what I love about this mascara that I can build it and build it and I never get you know clumpy lashes so I apply lots of coats so I will do this eye in a real time so you see so now I would move on to the other eye wait for this to dry a tiny bit and then I will go back to it so let's pretend that I'm waiting I will fast forward a bit see now I'm getting brighter because the sun is coming out oh you just have to put up with it You see, getting bigger and bigger. I'm wearing my uh, Lily Silk, one of the Lily Silk tops. They are so beautiful. Um, I will leave you the link to it down below because I have a discount. I have, what is it, 15% off? Or oh, 20? I don't know. But have a look down below. Uh, Can you see how much I'm putting on? And they are not really that clumpy. Hey, can you see the difference when I just put one coat? It doesn't look that brilliant, but I love it that it's so buildable. I much rather buildable mascara that one, you know, really wet thick that when you go in, that's it. And if you put too much on, you can't do anything else about it. Yes, so I just wanted to say that being judged all the time, which we all do here on YouTube, is quite hard. Um, what am I going to put on my lips? Toulouse from NYX. But I'm fine about it, you know, after so many years on YouTube he used to make me cry but yeah I must, must say this unsubscribing because I drink was quite surprising <laughs> you would have thought that I've killed someone I don't drink drive and I don't get drunk all the time why am I telling you this even if I did so what but yeah I love your comments, your stories make me laugh so much. You wouldn't believe how much I laughed yesterday about your drunken, drunken shopping. <laughs> okay, I better go and carry on with my other review video. Okay, so look at this. This is ridiculous. Um, I've decided to organize my gym wear. A lot of it has to go. Um, I didn't even know I have that much stuff this is not stuff just since I've started working out throughout the years I attempted to go to the gym for a week or so um, so I've accumulated quite a lot of stuff but I'm going to sort it out I'm so fed up I will fold it all nicely it is on a shelf but 
then when I pull something out, the rest falls out and I'm so disorganized with it. So, I've got these from Amazon. I love these. Probably not going to be enough. Well, I'm going to get rid of a lot of stuff. These are the foldable uh, boxes. And I will show you how I organize my leggings and my t-shirts. So first of all, I will go through what I don't want. And once I've got a pile of what I want, I will come back and start folding. So these are my summer leggings, colorful ones. I've got some Gymshark, although I'm a bit over it. Um, but I show you how I fold the leggings. I hope you can see it. So I put them like this. You can see it. Hang on. Okay, right. So I put them like this. I fold the band down then I take the legs tuck it into the band then I fold them and then fold it once and twice and that can go in here so let's do the summer ones first. I think I will need more of these boxes. I've got so much stuff. I just found stuff that I didn't even know, well, didn't remember I had. And that way you can see it. I think this is not going to be enough. I'm going to put some here as well on the side. But I think I need to go and order more of these boxes. Yeah, so that's how I'm doing the leggings. Let me just show you quickly the t-shirt. I think I might actually put t-shirts in this smaller one. I've got like different sizes of these boxes. Um, I will put the link to them. You can find them in my... Amazon shop so I've already done a few t-shirts here so how I fold the t-shirts can you see it then in half in half and in half and that's how I put them in hmm. I've got two of the same you see I think that's why oh this one looks like it's got lipstick on that's why I want to organize it because I see stuff and I think oh yes I have to buy it and then it turns out I already have it so having stuff organized will help I also have few tank tops and sports bras so I don't know where all that's gonna go oh, I definitely need more boxes this is ridiculous Anyway, I'm going to carry on and I might have to get rid of a bit more stuff because there's no room for it. Good morning. I'm on my morning walk with Louis. Paul usually takes Louis out in the mornings, but today is gym day. So Paul is in the gym and he goes really early or as I go in the afternoon. 
so today Louis is going to the groomer at last he's so hairy he doesn't like being that hairy um, but it's gonna be a bit tight because she pushed his appointment to 11.45 and I have to leave the house at 1.30 to go to the gym so it's going to be quite tight to pick him up and then go to the gym let me show you Louis before his haircut what are you doing in there? come out of there Louis come on come on <laughs> he's hiding Come on, Louis. 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 Louis, look at me. Stay here. Your hairy face, your fringe is in your eyes. Come on, let's go. You see here is another one of these whipping willows. I love them so much. I always say I could live under this tree. Look how lovely. I don't have any makeup on. Well, I have foundation on. I have um, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder Foundation on but I haven't done my brows yet on my eyes but I'm not doing much because I'm going to the gym so I only put a bit of mascara on okay so I have just dropped Louis off at the groomers and now I'm trying to go and drive by Ascot Racecourse so I can show you because it's ladies day today uh, to show you maybe some people all dressed up in their beautiful dresses and beautiful hats but the traffic is horrendous which is to be expected so if I don't get there in 15 minutes I will have to just turn around because I'm picking Louis up in an hour and then I have to get home, get my bottle of water, my banana, and go to the gym. So it's a bit, you know, touch and go today. And the traffic is awful, but I would really love to show you, especially the ones of you in the US, because I know here in the UK, everybody knows what it's like at um, Royal Ascot, but not so much in the US I suppose right I'm wearing my dreaded sunglasses I really like them but and you know I there <laughs> hello I'm a pirate um, I don't you know some of you said that they are probably fake they are not fake the website doesn't sell fake glasses the only problem I have with them is the customer service. Um, yeah, I just wasn't happy with the customer service and that's how they packed the glasses. That's why this happened because I showed, I've shown you they were in a box. There was no padding around the box. So they must have been rattling, you know, coming across the pond. So yeah don't buy from this website but I love the sunglasses so I told you I'm keeping them I'm not stressing myself with emailing back and forth and spending money on more postage to send them back so I would probably go to a optician and maybe have the frame just uh, tighten someone said that there is a screw that I should be able to tighten but doesn't look like it so yeah okay so I'm not promising anything but I hope I get there in time and then can turn around and still have time to pick up Louis so these people are quite lucky they obviously live 
near Ascot Racecourse, so they walk in. Watch this man now, how he's dressed up in his tails, top hat and tails. Well, it looks horrendous, so just past this roundabout is the race course but I don't know if I'm going to risk going down there because I don't know how I'm going to get back home I might have to just go around this roundabout and get back home sorry about that maybe you will get a glimpse of something there is a nice couple coming up here but the cars are blocking it Well, you can see some people here. So now I'm just dropping him home quickly and off to the gym and I think I'm going to say goodbye here and I will see you in my next video. Bye!